Hey there, everyone. This is Train Our Connor, your coach for the SF Swampers, and today is week seven of the ILL. And oh my gosh, guys! Oh my gosh! This was an epic battle between myself and Cap McCallan, aka the coach of the uh, Rust Borough City Stoners who has a really big record going into this. So, we are not going to sleep on this battle for sure. Now, going up against McCallum here, I'm packing uh, Defensive Claygall, Charizard X, which has Willow Wisp to burn things, and then uh, Dragon Dance Zygarde, uh, Shiny, Samurott with Hydro Cannon, and then uh, Choice Scarf Primate, I brought a new one, which has different moves on it, and then a defensive Forges. I realize he has Mega Absol and a Mega Altaria available. In this battle, he has Mega Absol, because he apparently didn't gen or uh, got his Mega Altaria uh, fit for this battle. So, we're going to start out with our uh, Stealth Rockers here. We're going to get up our Entry Hazards on turn 1. Uh, Barclay Rapid spins his away to get our uh, Stealth Rocks, or I guess my opponent's Stealth Rocks rather, out of our side of the match. But he decides to Whirlwind being a 4 he is, so I'm like, as long as he doesn't have an uh, Iron Keg or anything weird like that, we're okay. Unfortunately for me, um, you know, I tried passing the wish to Alon, the Charizard there, um, that sucks because I was going to wish and pass the wish to Charizard, uh, but instead he decides to whirlwind me into Zygarde, and, uh, we're gonna see a lot of Zygarde in this match, just keep an eye out for that. Uh, I'm gonna go back into Barclay here. And, um, hopefully we can get some momentum here because my opponent so far has, like, all the momentum that I can see. Uh, we're going to, again, wrap it's been, and it's, it's important that we get rid of these stealth rocks because they're going to be very annoying as we'll be switching out a lot in this battle. So, it's going to be tough, it's going to be tough, but, you know, we're going to do the best we can. So, he rapid spends my stealth ox, which is like, gosh dang. Um, I go into Smash Toria, which is my, uh, new prime ape. We're not using, uh, Victor, as my other one is called, and it's like, well, we're gonna try a new one, but, um, I was really close to going to Zygarde there, expecting a Volt Switch, but I decided to go into Forges, expecting him to burn, me with a will -O wisp if he has it. Uh, so that's why I went with that kind of play there. He gets to set up his stealth loss again. I'm going with Moon Blast, so I'm like, we need to, we need to take out this Skarmory, because if we can't, then how are we supposed to win this match? Because it's like he can just whirlwind me out again, like he does here. So if we can go with wishes, then it's like, okay, perfect. Um, unfortunately, he does, uh, whirlwind me back into Zygarde. I was hoping a lawn again, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, I'm gonna switch out, expecting him to roost right here. Uh, because that's his optimal play there, uh, that I can see. And my wish comes true. Now we need to go with, uh, Reflect, because, um, or actually, I have to spend first, that's a priority, and then we can go with the Reflect. Because Mega Absol is in here. Uh, he actually named it after uh, one of my Twitter followers, Matt Brandel, who's Absol Blog's Pokemon, so I can, I can understand that he uh, named it there like that. Uh, but anyway, so we're going to set up that Reflect, and we see that uh, Play Rough does a ton of damage. Here I go into Lawn, and finally we can go with the Mega Evolution and roost off all that damage. 
Um, it is apparent that his Arcanine will be coming in here. I was hoping that um, he doesn't have like wild charge or something weird like that. We need to get some information about this Arcanine. So I actually go the He Wave, uh, which, you know, I was just doing that because I was scouting. Not really putting a lot of damage here. If I do get a critical hit, he shows me Toxic. And it's like, okay, that's great knowledge. Now I can go into um, Forges, and I was actually not expecting Dragon Pulse right there. I was expecting him to go with another Toxic. Um, I really thought he was going to switch out here knowing that uh, Forges, it commonly carries aromatherapy. So I switched back into a lawn expecting another Pokemon to switch in. But he goes with another Toxic. So that sucks. Um, I could have actually gone with a Moonblast and lower his special attack if I had the chance to do that as well. And now we get to see how powerful this Dragon Pulse It actually doesn't do that much. Which, uh, you know, that evidence show that he's a defensive set, so back in my head, I'm like, okay, that that's good. That's actually really good. Here I go with another Outrage. I am locked in on it. When I get confused, I can switch up my moves. Um, this is actually a crucial moment here. I need to not hit myself in confusion, but I hit myself in confusion. So, I was taking out the Skarmory most likely, but he could just go into his uh, Mega Absol and finish me off with like a Pursuit or a Sucker Punch for priority purposes there. So that sucks. Uh, good job, Charizard. You had one chance and you failed. I stupidly go with the Hydro Cannon. Yeah, it's very strong, but it's not very effective to that boy. Uh, the chestnut, and it's like, well, I mean, I have Ice Beam and uh, Air Slash, which I should have gone for in the first place, but I didn't do that, so, uh, we will be able to do that, so we go with an Ice Beam right here, and we don't take him out, so he has, uh, some special defensive use in there, or Max HP or something, something along those lines. Uh, he actually has enough HP to set up a substitute. He had the exact number of uh, HP to set up that sub, which is like, gah, why? I, I don't like this. So um, I'm, I'm forced to go back into Forges because, number one, I was expecting a spiky shield or a drain punch. We see drain punch. Uh, so we resist it, and I have speed, go the moon blast to hopefully break that substitute. And it's so annoying I'm actually facing uh, Chestnut like that, because Chestnut is not that, it's not that, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, you know, Chestnut, uh, should be easy to deal with, but I'm just making it harder for myself, that's what I'm saying here. So he has, a uh, Leech Seed up, he has, uh, his uh, HP back to make another substitute if he wants to. Uh, he actually goes back into Rotom Heat, expecting another Moon Blast. I was hoping for a special attack drop, but I don't get that. Because the RNG gods are like, nope, not today, fam. So I need to go back into Barclay, expecting another Volt Switch coming my way. But he goes for Trick. I think he expected that. Most likely. And now we get a choice scarf. A stylish uh, choice scarf. So I'm going to lock myself into rapid spin. Uh, that's my only way of like getting rid of these energy hazards, guys. I need them out. I just need them out. Because that's, that's my game plan. Part of my strategy. So we need to switch out. We go back into Forges. Um, I could have gone with the another switch out in Zygarde, expecting another Volt switch there, but uh, that doesn't happen. So, yes, uh, he gets to go back into Skarmory, and I go with another Moon Blast. We haven't done anything to knock any of my opponent's Pokemon in this far in this battle, guys. Have you noticed that? And look how far we are in this match. 
Yeah, this is a very long match. Good gravy. Uh, how am I supposed to narrate this? Gosh darn it. We'll do the best we can. We'll do the best we can. Uh, anyway, so uh, we are in a, a very tight spot here. I'm forced to go with another Wish and a Moon Blast scenario where it's like he can whirlwind me out and then uh, I can get my HP back from the Wish. And, uh, it's just, it's so unfortunate right here because I locked myself into a Choice Scarf Ice Punch, but he has Brave Bird. I was actually expecting him to not have Brave Bird for some weird reason. So now we're down 2-0. I'm gonna go back into Samurai because I know I'll speed. I can go with an Ice Beam here. Hopefully take him out. And we finally take him out. Amazing. Uh, so we finally have some momentum, not all of it, but you know, it's, it's a nice start. Now, I mentioned that Zygarde is going to have a little bit of playtime here because I finally decided to go into Zygarde on the right turn as he does go with a Volt Switch. Uh, so I immune, or Zygarde is immune to that, so that's the easy switch. He goes back into that boy and uh, yeah, we're going to set up because I know he's going to, uh, just seeing Rotom, he, he does not have Will-O-Wisp because if he had it, he should have gone for that initially. So now we have a plus one Zygarde ready to rock the house, but he survives. That boy, Chestnut, survives. I was like, are you kidding me? Because, like, I, I wanted to take him out. And then I could, you know, take out this uh, extra drill upon switching out as well if he's going to do that. And then, uh, yeah, there was a lot of stuff that would have made my strategy work. But it didn't because the chestnut, the freaking chestnut, survived with one HP. So now we're going to be in this little mind game scenario where Mac is going to switch out and uh, predict my moves pretty well here. Uh, he decides to Deathfogger his chestnut, which is like, okay, that's great. Uh, I should have taken it out earlier, but no. Uh, the scenario that he's going to be in is he's going to keep on intimidating, and then he's going to switch out and then go back into Arcanine, you know, back and forth, back and forth. And he does predict the Earthquake. I should have picked Stone Edge, but, you know, if I missed it, then that wouldn't matter. But... Yeah, so, uh, we failed to hit the Rotom Heat, which sucks, and then I go the Stone Edge, so, I, you know, I could have just kept alternating my moves depending on what Pokemon he's going to bring in. I know what he was doing, but it's just hard to, like, predict, and, you know, this awareness thing I have going on, I just don't have any awareness. So, you know, I was expecting Rotom to come in, so I go with an Outrage instead of, like, Stone Edge. Uh, so, that's the thing, right? But of course, he can always go back into Arcanine and vice versa. So, and all this time, I am losing health because of the uh, leech seed that the chestnut put out earlier. Uh, he decides to go the foul play, which actually does not take me out. Um, which is a little bit surprising, actually, because I set up with Dragon Dance. And, uh, yeah, so, very surprising there, but, you know, uh, we lose Zygarde from all of that, and it's like, really, that was my only win condition, my real w way of winning this match is just using Zygarde, but, Mac, you did a great job with that, uh, those series of plays that led to my Zygarde going down, but we can revenge kill with Hydro Cannon once again, but that really sucks because if you guys know from the previous upload and what you saw earlier with Hydro Cannon, I have three shards per turn. That means that this Mega Absol is going to clean up here because I don't have anyone faster than Mega Absol. And on top of that, he has priority. So, yeah, this match is going to be over. Uh, I had a great time this match. I, I think I would have won this match if I predicted and done a few things uh, 
uh, the right way instead of doing it like this or that. But that was such a long match. It was a 52 turn match. Uh, if you want to see this battle again, uh, just go ahead and watch it again. Because it kind of takes time to like see what really happened in this match. Yeah, so watch it again if you want to. But this was one of the most in intense battles I've had in the ILL. So we are 3 and 4 going on to week 8. And that's going to be against August. I have high expectations. After this match, I was like... I feel confident because it, the way I'm playing right now kind of shows I'm going to get a few victories here in the next few weeks. Uh, it's looking like I'm going to get a really good record, 7-4 or 6-4 uh, record for 10 weeks or 11 weeks. I, I don't remember how many weeks we have, but yeah, so I'm expecting a win next week, the next week after that, and then the battle between my epic rival Necrocebo. So we'll see how everything goes. We're not done yet. We're not going to be like, you know, it's time to give up. You know, we're not that point, at that point yet. So hope you guys enjoyed the match. Like I said, third time, you have to watch this again. You have to. You just have to get it so that you can see how epic this battle was. Make sure you like this video. Subscribe. And your coach of the SF Swampers is going to be off for now. Stay tuned for more Wi-Fi battles. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye, Chinese.